Good morning students. Today we will be starting exercise 14.4. Now the first sum which says find and correct the errors in the following mathematical statements. Okay. You see we have been given some of the statements here or we can also call it as a equation. You can see there is a left hand side and there is a right hand side and in between we have the equal to sign. So you can call, call it as an equation or a statement. Now we need to find whether they are correct or there is some kind of errors. When can we say that the statements are correct? We can say the statements are correct if the left hand side of the statement is equal to the right hand side of the statements. Okay. So let's just check it. We will start with the left hand side. Okay. So first we are writing LHS which is 4 into x minus 5 okay now we can simplify this 4 into x you will get 4x minus 4 into 5 you will get 20 okay now clearly student you got after simplification 4x minus 20 which is actually not equal to the right hand side of our statement okay so in fact this statement is incorrect there is an error so we need to correct it okay so first of all let's say that this what we call 4x minus 20 is not equal to 4x minus 5 okay which is in fact your rhs which is in fact your rhs so therefore we can say the correct statement is actually 4 into x minus 5 which will give you 4 into x that is 4x minus 4 into 5 that is 20. Now the LHS is equal to RHS. So this is the correct statement. Let's do one more statement. You see, we need to prove that LHS is equal to RHS. Then the statement will be correct. Otherwise, there will be an error in the statement. So let's just begin with the LHS. We have LHS that is x into 3x plus 2. Okay. So this can be written as this can be simplified as x into 3x, you will get 3x square plus x into 2, you will get 2x. As we can see clearly that the simplification which we got. 3x square plus 2x is actually not equal to the right hand side of the statement. So this statement is incorrect. Okay, this is not correct and we need to, you know, correct it. So first of all, let's mention that this, this is not equal to the right hand side, which is 3x square plus 2, which is actually your RHS. So therefore, the correct statement is x into 3x plus 2 which is equal to 3 into 3 uh, x into 3x which will get 3x square plus x into 2 you will get 2x. So this is your correct statement. Question number 3 which says 2x plus 3y is equal to 5xy. So First, we will write the LHS, which is 2x plus 3y, which can be simplified. Actually, this cannot be simplified, student, because 2x plus 3y is already in simplified form. So, that is again equal to 2x plus 3y, and this is not equal to your right hand side, which is 5x y which is in fact your RHS. So we have proved the left hand side. We have we have first taken the left hand side and that is equal to 2x plus 3y only which is not equal to the right hand side of the statement which is the RHS. So therefore the correct statement is 2x plus 3y is equal to 2x plus 3y itself. Okay, we have one more statement that is x plus 2x plus 3x is equal to 5x. So, so let's just check it. Okay, first we write the 
LHS which is equal to x plus 2x plus 3x we already know that 2x plus 3x these and plus x all the three terms are like terms so like terms can, can be operated that means they can be you know added up so 3x plus 2x we will get, we will get 5x plus 1x you will get 6x so which is in fact not equal to the right hand side of the statement which is your 5x and this is your RHS okay so the correct statement is x plus 2x plus 3x is equal to 6x okay okay now question number 5 which says 5y plus 2y plus y minus 7y is equal to 0 so let's just check whether there is an error in this statement or not so we begin LHS is equal to 5y plus 2y plus y minus 7y this can be simplified as you can see all these three terms and all the four terms actually are uh, you know like terms so you know they can be operated so 5y plus 2y we get 7y plus 1y we get 8y so 8y minus 7y so we get 1y actually 1 is not written it is understood so we simply write y okay so this answer which we got after simplification is not equal to the right hand side of the statement which is 0 so this y is not equal to 0 which is your RHS okay so therefore correct statement is 5y plus 2y plus y minus 7y is equal to y so this is the correct statement one more we have so LHS here is equal to 3x plus 2x both are like terms they can be added up you will get 5x okay remember students when we add up the like terms the power of the or the degree of the variables remain same you have x here on both the side we have again x okay only in case of multiplication and division the degree of the variable changes okay so we have 5x which is not equal to the right hand side which is 5x square this is your RHS okay so therefore the correct statement is 3x plus 2x you will get 5x not 5x square okay so this is the correct statement question number 7 LHS which is equal to 2x whole square plus 4 into 2x plus 7. This can be written as actually this degree or power which is 2 uh, you know applies to both the numbers in the bracket. So 2 square you get 4 and x square you get x square plus 4 into 2 is 8 x plus 7 okay so what we got after simplification is 4x square plus 8x plus 7 which is not equal to the right hand side of the statement so this is not equal to 2x square plus 8 x plus 7 which is your RHS okay so the correct statement is 2x square plus 4 into 2x plus 7 is actually equal to what we got here that is 4x square plus 
8 x plus 7. So this is the correct statement. We have LHS here which is equal to 2 x whole square plus 5 x. This can be simplified as 2 square you get 4 x square that is x square plus 5 x. Now this is not equal to the right hand side of the statement which is 9x. So this is not equal to 9x which is your RHS. Okay. So the correct statement is 2x whole square plus 5x will give you what we got here that is 4x square 4x square plus 5 x. So this is the correct statement. Question number 10. It's a bit different. It says we have been given one expression here, one algebraic expression and they are saying we need to substitute x is equal to minus 3. That means they have given the value of x that is minus 3 which we need to put in this expression. Okay. That is x square plus 5x plus 4. Okay. So this is the expression and now we have statement here okay after substituting minus 3 in this expression they say that we get minus 3 whole square plus 5 into minus 3 plus 4 which after simplification we get 15 so this is the left hand side of the statement and this is the right hand side of the statement we need to check whether lhs is equal to rhs okay so we start Substituting x equals to minus 3 in our original expression that is x square plus 5x plus 4. So let's just substitute. First of all, x square. So there we can write minus 3 whole square. Then plus 5x plus 5. In place of x, we write that is minus 3, okay, and plus 4. So let's just simplify this. What we get is, you see, whenever there is a square for a negative term, we always get a positive term. That means, when the minus ke upar jo hai whole square hoga, to we will always get the plus sign, okay? So we will get the plus sign here, and 3 square we already know that is 9, okay? Plus plus 5 into minus 3 we get minus 15 minus 15 we have a minus sign so we put it in a bracket plus 4 okay so after simplification we get 9 plus into minus we get minus 15 plus 4 so when you add and subtract you get minus 2 Clearly, student, this is the you know answer which we got as after simplification. That is minus two, which is not equal to the right hand side of the statement, which is fifteen. Okay, so we will write this is not equal to fifteen, which is your RHS. So therefore, we can say the correct statement is actually minus, or you can write the you know in initial expressions. So minus three whole square plus 5 into minus 3 plus 4 will give you minus 2 okay so this is the correct statement okay question number 10 we are doing b part now here again we need to substitute x is equal to minus 3 in this algebraic expression which is x square minus 5x plus 4 okay so let's start Substituting x equals to minus 3 in our algebraic expression which is x square minus 5x plus 4 we have x square so we need to write minus 3 in place of x so we have minus 3 whole square then we have minus 
5 x 5 into x so in place of x we are writing minus 3 again plus 4 so minus sign there is a square on minus sign on a negative sign it will get positive so we have 3 square which is 9 you see 5 into 3 is 15 we know but minus into minus you will get plus here okay so plus 15 plus 4 okay final answer what we get here is 28 okay clearly we can see from our statement we have the RHS that is minus 2 so this is not equal to minus 2 so not equal to minus 2 which is your RHS so we have the correct statement that is minus 3 whole square minus 5 into minus 3 plus 4 you will get 28 okay now question 10 part c again we need to substitute the same value the value of x which is minus 3 in this algebraic expression which is x square plus 5x okay so this is the algebraic expression so after we substitute now this is the statement which they have given okay after substituting minus 3 in this particular algebraic expression which is minus 3 whole square plus 5 into minus 3 is equal to minus 9 minus 15 which will give you finally minus 24 so this is the left hand side of the statement and this is the right hand side of the statement that, that is minus 24 so we need to prove that LHS is equal to RHS or not we need to find the uh, error in that and then correct it okay so we start first of all substituting x equals to minus 3 in algebraic expression x square plus 5x we have in place of x we write minus 3 so minus 3 whole square plus 5x so 5 in place of x again minus 3 so what you will get is again the negative sign will get positive because there is a square on negative sign which will give you a positive answer and 3 square will give you 9 again 5 into 3 but before that we need to multiply sign this is plus this is minus so plus into minus will give you minus 5 into 3 is 15 okay so this will give you minus 6 clearly student minus 6 the answer which we got after simplification is not equal to the right hand side of the uh, statement which is minus 24 so we can say this is not equal to minus 24 which is your RHS okay so therefore the correct statement is minus 3 whole square plus my plus 5 into minus 3 will give you minus 6 so this is the correct answer 